Hi, welcome to Star Tech Academy, where you will learn something new with every new video. So in every business scenario, there is one major challenge which many professionals face, which is writing clear, concise and professional emails. In this video, we will see that how you can write professional emails using Google Bar. For this, we will use three examples. In the first example, we will ask Bar to write a new email for us. Then in the second example, we will ask Bar to suggest a response for an email that we have received. And at last, we will ask Bar to create a follow-up mail. So these are the most common mailing scenarios. And if you have any other scenario in mind, you can try that as well after watching this video. So here is the scenario. We want to request a meeting with a potential client about a new product. So now we will go to Google Bar and write the prompt. So here I have written write an email requesting a meeting with a potential client about a new product. Now I will hit enter. Now you can see that it has given me a subject and a very lengthy email. If we see other drafts, where you can see it is asking for some details like your name and company, potential client's name, new product, client's pain points and meeting preference. Here is another email. So I will suggest you that you should never use this first draft directly. First of all, you need to personalize it. Means you can ask a bard to make this email short and you can give these details to bard to enter in the mail. So for example, I want to ask Bard to highlight that our product is innovative as compared to competitive products and it will be a game changer. And I want this email to be more concise. So this time I will write another prompt. In this prompt, I have written that in this email highlight that this product is innovative and cost effective as compared to competitor products and it will be a game changer. Also make it more concise. If I submit this response, so now you can see that it has reduced the size of the email. If you want to make further changes, you can write further prompts to fine tune this. And you can add more details as well, like your name, company name, product name, and client, etc. So you can see in drafting the email, Bard has saved a lot of time. If we have to write all of this firsthand, it may take a lot of time. But now our page is ready and we need to make a little changes and make sure that the text have correct spellings and grammars. Because in business communications, this is very important. Now we will see our next example. In this example, we will ask Bard to generate an email response. So suppose one of our supplier is asking about payment details. This is the email that we have received. Dear, we haven't received the payment for invoice. This, could you please update us on the payment status regards supplier name. So if you received such an email, you can directly copy paste that email in part. But if your email have some sensitive information which you do not want to give to Bard. So you will have to provide some key info from this message to Bard. So in this example, I will simply copy paste this email because I have already removed supplier name, invoice number and my name. So let's go to Bard and see the prompt. Here I have written that I have received the following mail delimited by triple quotes from one of our supplier. Here I have put the received email between triple quotes. The email is dear, we haven't received the payment of your invoice. Could you please update us on the payment status regards supplier name. And here I have also written what to do. I have written that draft the response email informing the supplier that payment will be made by the end of the week. If I submit this prompt, you can see that Bard says that Please be assured that we are processing the payment of your invoice and expect it to be completed by the end of this week. And here Bard added some additional informations by itself. If this makes sense, you can keep it, else you can delete it. So while generating an email, try to put the input email within a delimiter like triple quotes. And second thing, 
make sure to delete name or some important things from your email so that you do not share your confidential data with bard now let's look at the third scenario and see how well can bard create a follow up email follow ups are crucial in a business setting and especially the tone in which it written matters a lot so let's say we need to follow up on the status of a marketing project which we discussed last month it is best if we can include some info about the last status or the last milestone of the project and also we can specify the tone such as it should be polite considerate of their time but containing a clear ask for action etc so based on this let me show you my prompt so here i have written that write a follow up email asking a colleague about the status of marketing project that was discussed last month last we spoke we were finalizing the campaign visuals the email should be polite and considerate of their time but contain a clear ask for action so if you want another type of tone then you can write here like if you want a strict tone then you can guide bard so let's see what bard suggests so it looks a little bit lengthy but if you read the words it is quite good and you can directly use it but if you want to make some changes you can do so i'll suggest you that you should personalize this email and make it according to your scenario so with these three examples i wanted to show you that bard can really help us in writing professional emails and help us saving a lot of time so that's all in this video see you in the next one thanks